Welcome back to Who Chose. Here on Who Chose, we're not afraid to say we love plants. Like, we love plants. I don't care what plant you grow, but if you don't form an attachment with the plants that you're growing, like, are you even a gardener? Which is why I need to tell you this next video may be a little disturbing. It's a tomato slaughter. So today I'm going to be clearing out pretty much all the plants in the NFT uh, just because uh, most of the tomatoes are spent and uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to do a bit of a clean out um, because some of the rails uh, have a build up of um, algal growth and um, salts and stuff that have just deposited in the system. So uh, after this, I'll be running through uh, a solution of hydrogen peroxide um, just to kill any of the single celled organisms that uh, may have taken root in the system. Um, pardon the pun. Here we go. These eggplants have been amazing to me, um, but I'll also be taking them out. And I'll show you the size of the roots for the tomatoes and the eggplants uh, and how they're actually not really a problem compared to, you know, pumpkins. So you had a plant in each hole, uh, tomato, tomato, eggplant, and as I pull it out, ooh, there's a frog. <laughs> Hello, froggy. <laughs> See, <laughs> it's an ecosystem. <laughs> go on, um, where do you wanna go? Off he goes. <laughs> All right, as I was saying, um, the tomatoes really haven't been a problem when it comes to their roots. Um, they are large, and but that's that's the tomatoes. Uh, this is the eggplant, and uh, it was in the system for ages. So uh, these roots are like months, uh, probably four months of growth, um, and they extend a long way, but they haven't caused any problems in my 90 millimeter. NFT system. Holy moly. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Did not expect them to come out that far. Anyway, uh, as you can see, like there is some growth in the system, uh, but the roots are healthy, uh, even though they've got a little, you know, bit of greenery on them. Um, it's really nothing to worry about. So don't fret if your NFT does have some amount of, you know, algae in the system. Uh, because the plants will tolerate it. So it obviously helps to have, you know, a flood and drain bed as well for me because uh, I can just transplant some of the plants that I want to keep while I'm cleaning the system uh, into the flood and drain, probably permanently, um, which is what I'll do with these. Now, another major issue you've got to watch out for when cleaning out the system are leaks. Leaks in the system. Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to have to put my tea down for this one. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, 
Uh, it never it never gets old. That's like root porn, hey? Uh, so, yeah. Watch out for leaks. That little fella. There's frogs everywhere. Hello. There's another one. Hello, little fella. Forget aquaponics. <laughs> this one's frogponics. <laughs> He's pretty. One little fella, in with your friend. Oh, there he goes. Oh, secret pickle. Look at that. It's a big pickle. Look at that. A completely empty system. This is the first time it's been empty since I made it. So, exciting. So much potential. Uh, so now I'm going to go through by hand and physically remove, uh, as much of the build up as possible. And then I'll run this 50% hydrogen peroxide solution through the system. Now I'll dilute this down. Hydrogen peroxide will just, uh, destroy any single celled microorganisms living in the system. It breaks apart their cell membrane and... Uh, it's not really a problem for plants in small dilution ratios, uh, purely because uh, the plants have, being a multicellular organism, they have protective uh, cells on the outside of their roots, which take the damage that the hydrogen peroxide would do. This actually oxygenates the nutrient solution if you are using it in other applications as well. I will be removing uh, the flood and drain bed from the reservoir just by switching the pump off um, whilst I'm doing this and then doing a full reservoir swap out um, once uh, I'm finished cleaning the system. Uh, I might leave the hydrogen peroxide circulating in system uh, for about uh, 12 hours to a day and just leave the flood and drain bed half flooded uh, just to make sure I've cleaned out the system properly. So to clean it, all I'm going to do is attach one end of some rope to one end of a towel, and the other end of some rope to the other end of a towel. <laughs> and being very careful, because this is an oxidizing agent, and try not to get it on your hands, because it makes them go white. I'll just pour that straight onto the towel and let it run some run down the system. And then we can just pull it through. And back the other way. Now I can do that for each of the rails. There we go. Beautiful, clean, NFT hydroponic system. Now I'm gonna run uh, a double strength, so probably about four mils per liter hydrogen peroxide solution through this. Um, I'll put a smaller reservoir in so I'm not wasting any hydrogen peroxide that I don't need to. And that should take care of anything that I didn't physically remove. And then we can start planting. I've got some exciting videos coming up, guys. So I'll see you next time on Who Chose.